In this video, we're going to look at how a gas can form during a double displacement reaction. Okay, so just taking a general look at double displacement reactions, we're going to have our two cations switching places. A and C are going to switch places. We're going to make C, B, and A, D. And of course, the formulas of C, B, and A, D will depend on the charges of those elements as they cross over. Okay, so let's take a look at formation of gas. Essentially, what's going to happen is we're going to have uh, two ionic compounds react and uh, there's going to be a couple of products and then one of those products is actually going to further decompose and create water and a gas. So we need to know a couple of decomposition reactions here. We need to be uh, uh, able to spot a few molecules when they're created. So first we've got this carbonic acid molecule that likes to decompose into water vapor and uh, carbon dioxide gas. Secondly, we've got ammonium hydroxide that likes to decompose again into water vapor and this time ammonia gas. And last, we've got sulfurous acid, which, guess what, likes to decompose into water and SO2, sulfur dioxide. You'll notice all three of these reactions are pretty similar. Uh, there's no balancing involved in any of them. They all have water and uh, then whatever ad ad other atoms remain. These are the solubilities we're going to be using in this video. So let's take a look at a double displacement reaction. So we've got uh, hydroiodic acid reacting with sodium carbonate. So first thing we've got to do is sort out what is going to be reacting or what our two products are going to be. So we're going to switch sodium around with the hydrogen. So the first thing we're going to get is sodium iodide. Just to confirm that, sodium has a charge of plus one, iodine has a charge of minus one. So that should check out. Second thing we're going to create is we're going to put the hydrogen that's plus one together with the carbonate that is minus two. You'll notice that we are going to end up with two hydrogens and one carbonate. So it should look a little something like that. And it's got a state of aqueous if you check our solubility rules. They're all insoluble, but it's in group one, so we have an aqueous. Now, this is one of the compounds we talked about. Whenever this forms in a reaction, you have to do a further step where you break that down into the aforementioned water and <coughs> uh, carbon dioxide. I guess before I proceed, though, we should balance this reaction. And there we go. So that should look, uh, I should probably have these, you know, two equations or the one on the previous slide, and then uh, this as your second equation.